Greetings, I am Pillar Nexus, the Ancient Gladiator, with more showdown. Today is Eve, the Second Genesis, the collectible card game based on the MMO. All right, uh, this uh, these two decks are from the uh, the Day of Darkness uh, starter. Uh, worth noting. That these two decks are not tournament legal due to size. Uh, I need like another like nine, nine, ten cards, I think, which could easily come from the other starter set of the Great War. Uh, Glente, Caldari, because there are some cards that are usable with all the factions, or maybe more than one faction. There's very few cards that are like specific to a single faction. But anyway, so we have Amara versus Minmatar. Um, I kind of have to remember that on the back there's the uh, the tower that they can flip to um, when they've got enough money to do it. Like this one will have improved defense and Less money. This one will just have less money. <laughs> but it lets you recover uh, all the ships that went to your scrap heap uh, during that turn. It's the one, it's the only one you can uh, flip during your opponent's turn. So, the object of the game is make your opponent lose. They lose if you defeat their star base. Or if they run out of market cards when they need to draw one. So we we'll go odd, even, odd. I'll go first. All right. So starting hand for Amar, we've got um, Nice, Feldspar, the Executioner, the Crucifier. Uh, the Punisher, by the Emperor's Decree, Disarmament Treaty. They're going first, so they don't get to draw. So what does happen uh, is we'll check for news, we'll check for a ship assembly, nothing to worry about there. So, income. We control a basic star base. So we have two ISK. That's our wallet. Uh... ISK does not disappear at the end of your turn. You can build it up. Which is one of the things I like about this game. Alright. So let's... We'll play Veldspar. It's free, but we can only play one limited card uh, per turn, so we can't play anything else. And it'll attach to the home location, or home region, um, which can hold any number of locations, and increase our income by one. Going to go ahead and also spend the two ISK on the Executioner. So it has to assemble, so it is here until next turn. It has Patrol 1. Um, which at the beginning of a target step up to one attacking ship of your choice must target it if papal. It draws aggro. I have nothing else that I can play for free in the same turn. So. We're done. And it's on to Minmatar. Their starting hand is Burst, Slasher, Rifter, Thrasher, uh, Adister's Disaster, Feldspar, and a uh, Hermaphite. A Hemorphite. Alright. Yeah, for that one, we need to start gaining some outer uh, regions. We're going to collect our two ISK. If you're ever low on cards and 
flush with income with leftover money in your wallet, one of the things you could do is skip gaining the income and draw an extra card. Anyway, uh, plus one card. We have a breacher. All right. So let's have more money to work with with Feldspar. Let's also let's also play the burst. It's going to take a turn to assemble and cost us our two ISK. It has ambush. It's specifically ambush three. Uh, at the beginning of the of a withdraw step, this ship may deal three damage to an attacking ship. All right. Now, if we had more than seven cards in hand, we'd have to discard down, but that shouldn't happen. Unless, for some reason, you're struggling with money and your card... Your hand is just filled with big money items. So back to Amar. Exiled from the Empire. Let's go to their end. Destroy target card that is being played. It costs five. Oh, and income. Oh, plus one for Veldspar. So, oh. Turn or sequence of play, duration, assembly, that is now at our dock, then income, and then draw. Okay. So, something we can do now is play an outer region, and then warp the ship to that location. Let's let's try to let's just focus on protecting our ass. Metropolis for two. So outer regions, you start with three of them. They go into a little side pile that um, you'll have access to uh, just readily. They don't go into your hand, and you decide them at the start of the game. Um, if you ever play. An outer region. No one else can play an outer region with that same name. But uh, Metropolis costs two. Enemy ships cannot warp into your home region. An opponent may pay you four for each ship you control in this region uh, to negate the effect of Metropolis uh, until end of turn. So it's a, it's it's a bottleneck. Now we don't control it. We own it. And a little reminder that this is this is our location. But we don't control it until we warp a ship to that region. And there are no enemies there to worry about. So we'll go ahead and issue the command to patrol. But first we have to bring it out to the home region, then bring it out to the, uh, the outer region. I think. That's right. Dock or undock the ship. Undock the ship. It is now in the home region. Warp the ship and then command. <clears throat> we do have one ISK left. Um, you can hold on to it. I'm going to go ahead and add nice to Metropolis for additional income and also you probably if you if you notice the little two in rocks that can provide extra income if we have a ship there with mining there okay so we'll go back to Minimitar assembly 
the burst is now uh, at, at our dock. Uh, income, one, two, three. Three money into the wallet. New card is the Mandator. Uh, defending ships and target region cannot withdraw until end of turn. Right, so we have three money to work with. Let's go ahead and look at our uh, outer regions. Oh, yes. We want heaven. For two, when an enemy ship goes on the scrap heap from play, you gain a three. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and warp the uh, we're going to undock the burst, warp the burst to heaven, and then set it to ambush. And then, we control one outer region. We're going to play um, Hemar Fight to that region. So... When it comes into play, you gain one ISK for each outer region you control. So I spend one and I get my one back. And it's worth some extra income. Now, worth noting on these uh, outer regions, the number on the, the far right, that's how many locations you can have attached to them at most. So, we'll remember, oh, and that this is our, our location, as far as ownership. Even if we lose control of it. All right. Let's move our, uh, back to Amar. Now, I'm going to take a minute, get some... Something to drink... Because holy crap, this this takes its toll on the throat like nothing else. All right, duration, assembly, income. One, two, three, plus thirty-six. More money to work with. All right, draw the tormentor. Okay. Cannot be targeted by more than one ship during a target step. And it has mining. Okay. The mining two. Let's go ahead and spend the four to begin assembling the tormentor. And we'll go ahead and play by the Emperor's Decree. It is not a duration news. Reveal cards from the top of your market until you reveal a location card. Put that location into play and shuffle the revealed cards back into your market. If the location has no legal targets or cannot be played into any of the regions in play, place it on your scrap heap instead. You want to have at least one outer region under your control before you play this card. <laughs> so, not a location. Not a location. <laughs> no. Nope. Get to see, get to remember what's in my deck. Going through it like this. There we go. There's Omber. Okay. The old cards get shuffled back into the market. Let's just see the way I shuffle. Because I shuffle like a weirdo. <laughs> okay. 
But hey, it's better mixed up this way, I think. Okay. All right. Lumber. When it comes into play, it's only discards a card. We're going to go ahead and discard Exile from the Empire. And it's going to go... Um, on Metropolis. Okay. It is a lim uh, limited card, so there's no other locations I can play this turn. There's another thing to remember with Exile from the Empire. Um, make sure you haven't already played a location this turn. <laughs> okay. And then I have one ISK left. But I'm uh, not going to be able to play any of this. Okay. We're not strong enough to just warp to their home and fight them yet. So, it is up to, over to Minmatar. Okay. Duration, assembly, income. Two, three, four, five. Five ISK. New card for the turn is another copy of Addister's Disaster. Deals three damage to target ship. It is notably only playable by the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah, you'll discover some things about each of the factions as as you're checking out their stuff. Let's see here. What can I get with six? Let's. Hmm. You know, it's entirely possible to just. Well, that shows up immediately. If I build. There's a rare ship that doesn't really have any assembly time. You just build it. The Breacher. But I think I want something a little bit uh, more powerful immediately. So we're going to build the Ripter. It has uh, Ambush, but also has Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Uh, at the beginning of a battle phase, you may sacrifice the ship to deal two damage to any target ship or star base in this region. That'll cost us for five. Yeah. Could play that, but I don't have a ship to go take it. So, one, two. Uh, call it good. We'll go over to M to Amar after continue drink. <laughs> All right. Look at that. As duration assembly. Now have a functional tormentor. Um, income. One, two, three. Four, six, eight. Eight. All right. And a new card. Okay. Let's go ahead and You know what, let's just go all in on ship construction. We have the Punisher, costs uh, five. The Crucifier costs three. And the Emperor costs one. And it is an immediate um, dock. 
There's all my money. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and send these ships. I'm not worried about being attacked just yet. I don't think. So. Why don't you go ahead and warp. Uh. Undock the Tormentor and the Imperator, and then warp them over to Metropolis. We're going to warp the Executioner back, uh, back home, and then set them to patrol. Just have that line of defense. Or we leave them there, because they can't get here until they, act, until they get through this bottleneck. All right. And they're going to set them to mining and set that one to mining as well. We're going to take one turn of just build up a shitload of money. And then the next turn after that, we're going to draw a uh, double dip on the cards. Yeah. Okay. And we're back to Minmatar. Uh, duration, assembly... The Rifter is fully constructed. Income, one, two, three, four, five. Five money. All right. And a new card. We have Sanchez Scout Outpost. If another location is played into this region, return Sanchez Scout Outpost to its owner's hand. Right. see here uh, first we will undock the rifter the rifter is a 4-3 um, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, scout outpost to uh, our home region So we've got more money to work with. Uh, there. And. Let's see here. I want to build anything else. Hmm. Right. Ship one five together they can wreck the tormentor. However, the tormentor can't be targeted by more than one ship. So that'll help. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> We're going to warp the Rifter to Metropolis. Going to warp the Burst over there as well. So we have a battle. Okay. Battle step. Here's what's going to happen. Um... First, we have beginning a battle step. Um, during this, during this time, we're going to go ahead and um, do we do we go ahead and play it? That's a question. I'm gonna go ahead and play Anister's Disaster. For three and do three damage to target ship 
just to make it. Absolutely sure they're going to rethink this whole situation. So that's discarded. All right. Now they have a chance to withdraw. To um, uh, to a friendly or unoccupied region. Actually, me taking the burst might have been a dumb idea. Our, uh, I had to take it to deal with the fact that this one has patrol. Okay. So, they're going to withdraw the Tormentor and the Emperor. Yeah, that was probably a stupid idea on my part. Let's let's back up a sec. Let's back up a sec. That was dumb. Let's not do that. Let's go back. Let's go back. So we have let's get Aster's disaster back. All right. Right. What we do is we spend three for the breacher, which will warp to our home. And then, Because then we won't be able to do the Aster's Disaster. That is the problem. You know what? Not the Breacher, the Slasher. And we'll go ahead and set the Ripter to ambush. For now. Or. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. Alright. Wait another turn and then. And then proceed. Okay. Duration. Assembly. And income two, four, five, six, seven, eight plus uh, mining one, nine, ten, eleven, mining two plus six, seventeen. Lots of money to work with, and then one card. Hired enforcers. Target ship gets plus two, plus four until end of turn. Uh, that comes into play. Discard a card and pay two. Uh, return higher enforcers uh, back to your hand, only if it's in, um, but only if it's in your scrap heap. All right. We just do we have the the sheer punch to get through this. I think so. Okay. Alright. Undock. And warp. Screw it. We go for um we go for it. Let's go right for it. And then we spend our four on 
higher enforcers. Um, plus two, plus four. Let's let's re let's review. The executioner is a two two. Uh, patrol does not matter. The Punisher is a 3-5, cannot be targeted by more than one ship during each target step. The Crucifier is Sensor Dampen 2. Uh, at the beginning of a target step, you may choose an enemy ship in the region. Uh, it gets minus 2 this attack phase, this battle phase. So, they're going to be down to, to make an attack of 2. And then Hired Enforcers is going to um, make sure somebody can fucking survive. So. Yeah. The Crucifier will have the plus two, plus four. All right, so begin a battle step, um, then withdraw. Um, at the beginning of the withdraw step, they can do two damage to somebody. Okay, they're going to ambush the executioner, and it's it's destroyed is it destroyed immediately timing is everything <laughs> okay because battle yeah Because during the usual ship combat, the damage will be simultaneous. Something special. I would imagine if you can do two damage to an attacking ship at the beginning of that step, they can get sent to the scrap heap um, that, that quickly. So, um, having... Uh, whenever an enemy ship goes onto the scrap heap from play, you gain three money. Okay. And then we can use that to play uh, Addister's Disaster, spend three, and uh, do three damage to target ship. Okay. And then actually assigning the uh, targets. The Rifter is going to target the Punisher do, to do it. The Crucifier and uh, Punisher will do a combined seven to the Rifter. Um, resolving the damage. So the Punisher is, dis is destroyed, which will get me another three. The Rifter is destroyed, which I'm going to set aside for a minute because I have something special to do. <laughs> and then remaining attacking ships, uh, four is not enough to defeat seven. So next battle step, they have to withdraw. They're going to withdraw to um, Metropolis. They're, they're going to withdraw to home region because we may have we may have gotten a little too aggressive. And uh, this this bonus is no longer applying, but it stays out to wait its turn to go to the scrap heap so we can get it back later.
Okay, at the end of this turn, we're going to pay the four for Liberty Tower. I think it's been one too many. Uh, upgrade only during any player's yeah. uh, end step. All ships that went to your scrap heap from play this turn are returned back to your hand. And I now have an upgraded star base. Which is important for one of the locations I have available. Okay. So that was it for that. Duration, assembly, income, two, three, four, uh, five, six. So, seven money to work with. And a new card in the form of Veldspar. Well, we can add more Veldspar to the, to happen. It's fine. And start re rebuilding the Rifter. <laughs> Um, the slasher is going to uh, undock and then protect the freaking home region. Actually, they're going to warp over to heaven. The burst is going to warp back home and prepare to ambush. And the slasher is going to prepare to ambush. Okay. And that's that for them. Is it any location? To this region, okay. Alright. So, back to Amar. To Duration, Assembly, uh, Income, we're going to skip income and to draw the extra card. Uh, Umber, and then draw the card for the turn. Huh, Crokite. Play only in the outer region. So we're going to need another outer region for some of this. Okay. Let's look at outer regions uh, as an option. Dam Torsad for five. At the beginning of uh, your turn, you may search your market for a location you could legally play in this region and put it into play in this region. And Crucifier is going to warp to it and patrol it. To. Uh, Spend, let's see. We will play Ochre or Umber for two. We have to discard a card. Um, we'll discard Crokite. Actually, we'll discard Disarmament Treaty. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to try to fight again. That's, that was dumb. At least right now. Alright. And we're going to pass the turn over to Minmatar. Uh, duration, assembly, income, or an extra card. No, we need the money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven. Oop, before I forget. Remember. And draw the card for the turn. Interstellar Trade Post. 
Uh, plus X income, X equals number of regions you control. Okay. We need something powerful enough to bust this. <laughs> Ew. Ooh, hold on. Okay. So, anyway. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and add the inner solid trade post. Screw it. Accepts. We'll have to do it out in here because I don't want to lose the uh, Sansa's trade post. All right. Uh, Rifter is going to. Let's see here. Sorry. Okay, the rifter is going to um, warp to home for, for a minute, or undock. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start assembling the thrasher for eight. All my cash. Let's figure out what to do next. The Rifter is going to stay here and um, set to ambush. The Burst is going to warp to heaven and also set to ambush. So we have five strength and ambush out here to protect heaven. All right. And that's all I'm going to be able to do. Uh, back to Amar. Uh, duration assembly I'm going to uh, skip the income and draw two cards instead. Okay. Two. Add the Crokite to this outer region and spend. Interestingly, Crokite is not listed as limited. So, in theory, you could also play more of Eldspar. And by the Tormentor for four. So, do we want to try anything? See, these these just pure defense things are just kind of a pain. But... It may be what we're stuck with for a minute. Alright. Do you want to try... No. Alright. Over to... Uh, back to Minmatar. Uh, duration, assembly, you now the Thrasher. The special is spend two. Thrasher deals one damage to target enemy scout or frigate in this region. Uh, income got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine money. All right. New card for the turn. Uh, it's not just Scout Outpost. Which we can go ahead and play it to this region because that's the last thing we can play to that region. I need to remember at the beginning of the turn. Um, 
I need to remember this one. Okay. Thrasher. Not at home. Five, four. You know what? They have no cards. I have nine strength. It will cost me eight bucks to ignore Metropolis and just straight up hit their home system. So you know what? That's what we do. We go straight for where it hurts. So, uh, begin battle step. I got nothing, they got nothing. Withdraw. They have no ships there. Designate targets. There's no targets to designate. Deal damage. There's nobody to hurt. There's nobody that can hurt me. And then, remaining attacking ships. Damage to Cerberus. 5 plus 4 is 9 against 7 is they're done. <laughs> They should have warp, warping back the tormentor might have been a smarter move. Uh, knowing that the thrasher was coming, I think a smarter player. This is why I need two people to actually do this showdown stuff. Is sometimes you forget about things, but this is mainly just demonstration. Um, it was a decent, decent pace of a game. And seeing how things kind of flow is nice as well. Yeah. This. Yeah, this only. This spots them time, but not enough. Send. Uh, sending the Tormentor back probably would have saved them. If I wasn't 100% sure that I could win this one. I would have gone after one of the locations. Uh, probably, uh, probably Metropolis because it could uh, knock out the Tormentor in one shot. Um, yeah. But let's see the uh, second Genesis. Um, it would be nice to find more cards for these, but. Boosters are like rare as so. hell. Um, I'm planning to go out of town this weekend and maybe look at card shops and see if maybe there's someone that has a booster box of this. And it, it but those are some slim odds of finding, I think. But yeah. Um, in the second Genesis, that's that's it for the showdown for uh, for this. Uh, the next shutdown video is Cyberpunk. After Cyberpunk, I'm thinking about getting a couple of decks for a game to do one extra episode of Showdown. There are actually two games at the top of my head right now that I could probably go find stuff for and, uh, and keep this series going. Um, so, big question is that I've got the poll up on my YouTube and my Twitter. Do I go ahead and do more two-player specific games or more games that can have at least two players and do showdown for that one? Or or should I just stick to card games only? Um, check out my uh, post in the uh, community for my channel and let me know. Alright, thanks very much for watching. This is Pillar Nexus. I'll see you next time.